Good day class. So today we'll discuss about rectangular coordinate system. So let's define first what is rectangular coordinate system. Rectangular coordinate system is also called the x and y plane or coordinate plane. So this is what your x coordinate or x and y plane looks like. It is formed by two intersecting number lines, one horizontal line and one vertical line. Horizontal line is what we called the x-axis, and the vertical line is what we called the y-axis. Each number line is composed of um, positive and negative numbers. So for our x-axis, our positive numbers is can be found at the right side of your plane, while your negative numbers is found at the left side of your plane. For the y-axis, your positive numbers is located at the upper side of your plane and your negative number is located at the lower part of your plane. Your zero here is what we call the origin. It is where the two intersection of the two axes. The axis divide the coordinate plane into four regions called quadrants. So this is your quadrant one. So the right side, upper side, or right upper side of your plane is what we call the quadrant one. The left side upper, the left upper side of your plane is what we call quadrant two. The left side, the left lower side of your plane is what we call quadrant three, and lastly, the right lower part of your plane is what we call quadrant four. It is used to locate points on the x and y plane. So when we say points in the rectangular coordinate system, each quadrant or each part of your coordinate plane is composed of points. Points is what we call the ordered pairs. When we say ordered pairs, it is composed of x and y numbers. So x here is what we call the x coordinate or abscissa, while your y here is what we call y coordinate or ordinate. Um, remember class, in writing an ordered pair, you should compose, uh, your ordered pair should compose of x and y, where x comes first before y. Now, it says that each, um, the, your coordinate plane is composed of points. It is used to locate points, rather. So, using your quadrants, you can easily identify um, which part of your point is being located. Now, since it is composed of a number number lines, so your quadrant is having a specific ordered pair. So now for quadrant one, your x is positive and your y is also positive since it is located at the right upper side of your plane where all numbers are positive. Now, for your quadrant 2, your x becomes now negative and your y remains positive. Since your quadrant 2 is located at the left upper side of your plane, where your x is a negative number and your y is a positive number. Now, for your quadrant 3, quadrant 3 is composed of both negative numbers where your x is negative and your y is also negative since it is located at the left lower side of your plane where all numbers are negative. And lastly, for your quadrant 4, your x is positive and your y is negative because it is located at the right lower part of your plane where your number line is composed of a positive x-axis and a negative y-axis. Since your origin is the, the point where two intersection, where the two lines meet rather, the ordered pair of your origin is composed of both zero. 
so there is no positive and negative number since it is the center where two number where two um number lines or two lines are being or meet rather okay next in rectangular coordinate system points are not just located at within your quadrants it can also be located within the x axis or your y axis so if a point a0 on the x axis is called x intercept and point 0b on the x axis is called y intercept so what does it mean so when we say x intercept the points ca can be found within your x axis not in quadrant 1 not in quadrant 2 not in quadrant 3 and also not in quadrant 4 but instead within your x axis so your ordered pair here becomes a 0 where a is any number of your x axis and your y becomes 0 since there is no point within your y axis well on the other hand for your y intercept your ordered pair becomes 0 b where your x in your ordered pair now becomes 0 and your b is any number within the y axis and it is also found within your y axis now let's plot an ordered pair for you to see what am i talking about here so we have here your plane so in reading a point in rectangular coordinate system um, you name a point with a capital letter so in this case we use a as the name of your point so we read this this one as point a point a is composed of an ordered pair 2 and 3 where your x is 2 and your y is 3 now we will follow the steps in planting the ordered pair in your coordinate step one locate the x coordinate on the x axis and lightly sketch a vertical line so since your x is 2 so we'll locate your x coordinate to the x axis so this is your x coordinate lightly sketch a vertical line the lightly sketch vertical line will give you a guide where to um well where will be your direction since your y is 3 locate your y coordinate which is 3 on the y axis and sketch a horizontal line so this is your y coordinate the arrow goes at the right side since the pair of your coordinate is, is at the right side of the plane so lastly find the point where the two line meets so you will locate the point where the two lines meet or intersect so this is the place where the two line meets now we can name now our point here or we can plot now our point at this side of your plane which is within the which the point is located at quadrant one where your x is positive and your y is also positive so this is how you plot a point in your plane let's have another example let's plot point b point b is composed of a negative x and a positive y which is negative 2 and positive 3 following the same step plot first your x coordinate your x coordinate is negative 2 it goes upward because your y is a positive number so next plot your um locate your y coordinate which is positive 3 and lastly find the point where the two line meets so this is where the point meets and we can now name your point as point b which is located at quadrant 1 next example is will be the point c now i hope you have an idea where to put your point c 
following your step, plot your x coordinate, which is negative 2, it goes downward because your y or its partner is a negative number, which is located at the lower part of your plane. So since your y coordinate is a negative number, which is negative 3, so this is where your line flat or find a point where the two line meets and that is now your point C. So your sketch or your line, your lightly sketched line can be erased or should be erased rather because it, it will serve as your guide in plotting the points. The important thing here is how to plot points. So I hope you understand and you can read more in your book and if you have questions, you can contact me directly at my account.